the committee was unable to reach a consensus on a number of other proposals on the matter of cost of living, including the reduction of VAT on fuel from 16% to 8% and scrapping the housing levy. Kenyans had high hopes that the National Dialogue Committee report would provide much needed solutions to the soaring cost of living in the country. However, the expectations were dashed when the committee failed to reach a consensus on crucial issues such as the scrapping of the housing levy and the reduction of value-added tax VAT on fuel from 16% to 8%. These two measures were seen as potential remedies to the high cost of living, which has been a major concern for many Kenyans. Hello, my name is Chief Okuzo from Plug TV. The failure to address these pressing economic issues left Kenyans puzzled and frustrated. They couldn't understand how the committee could refuse to reduce VAT on fuel, which is widely considered one of the primary drivers of the high cost of living, while simultaneously considering the creation of additional government positions. Specifically, the report proposed the establishment of the Office of Official Opposition Leader, with two deputies and the entrenchment of the Prime Cabinet Secretary's Office into law. The whole issue of cost of living is extremely sensitive in the Kenya Kwanzaa circles because it is a gravy train on which many corrupt interests have converged. Cost of living cannot come down because the, the key people in the government are eating from it. Some Kenyans viewed this as a political maneuver between Raila Odinga and President William Ruto. Initially, Ruto had indicated his readiness to facilitate the creation of the Office of Opposition Leader and provide government privileges for its occupant, which was interpreted by many as a potential partnership between the two political rivals. As we talk, I am pushing so that we have an office in Parliament of the Leader of Opposition funded by the government of Kenya to make sure that public resources are being used appropriately. This led to speculation that they were secretly working together despite their public denials of any such alliance. Babu unajua hawa watu hakuna kitu wanataka. Hii ni watu wanapanga tu mambo ya nusu mkate. Siju wanatafuta handshake. Mimi nataka niwaambie mapema mchana. My friends. Sahau mambo ya handshake. A little longer than a few minutes later. To create the office of the leader of opposition or to formalize the office of the prime cabinet secretary, the people of Kenya have to have their say by way of a referendum. Raila Odinga's apparent endorsement of the report further fueled suspicions among Kenyans that he had played a long con game collaborating with Ruto for their own gain at the expense of the struggling economy. Many were left disheartened and some even labeled Raila a traitor for seemingly backing Ruto's regime after expressing support for the committee's report. Social media reactions reflect the disappointment and frustration of Kenyan citizens on Raila Odinga. One Twitter user said, Watu wanalia economy ni mbaya. Na Raila Odinga anafikiria tu referendum and positions for his cabal. This man does not want to be the president of Kenya. It has been a long con game. It is impossible to be that stupid. Another person reacted saying, I've been typing and deleting. So Raila Odinga went ahead and announced to all Kenyans that he want to spearhead the referendum thing. When will this man learn for the first time? I am doubting if Uhuru was the reason Raila Odinga lost elections. It seems our man is his own enemy. Miguna Miguna was also not left behind. He reacted to the report saying, If you want to know how brainless and mentally enslaved conman Raila Odinga's supporters are, just wait and see how suddenly President William Ruto is Angel Gabriel. 
because he supports the creation of the Office of Official po Opposition and Prime Minister's Office. Confused, ideologically bankrupt and useless. They have forgotten about their stolen victory. The youth whom the police murdered during demonstrations. Opening the IEBC server. The Sherera 4 and the Seundu victims of clashes. They have forgotten the high cost of living and their collective misery. They don't understand that the billions used to bribe the con man is one of the reasons for the high cost of living. Hopeless, Miguna Miguna stated. And that is why Kenyans feel disappointed by the National Dialogue Committee report. Wanona ni kama wamechezo tu. Yani the committee would rather create extra offices but when it comes to the reduction of uh, VAT and fuel, that's when they draw the line. Anyway, what are your thoughts about all this? Leave your thoughts in our comment section. That is it for now. Thanks for watching. Let's me next time. Bye-bye.